Hello and welcome back to Blue Sky Media. Today we have another episode of Facts About Sharks. We post new videos daily so be sure to click like and subscribe and tap the bell notification button if you want to know when we upload new videos. This only takes a second and will really help the channel grow so we can bring more videos for you. The first shark in today's collection is the Bonnethead Shark. Bonnetheads form huge groups, sometimes there can be thousands of them in a school. The bonnethead shark is often found in shallow bays and river estuaries. They mainly eat crabs, shrimps and other crustaceans. Scientists think bonnethead have complex social systems, with different members of a group having different levels of importance. Bonnetheads are also called bonnet sharks, bonnet nose sharks, or shovelheads. Fishermen have to be careful if they grab a bonnethead by the tail, as it can reach up and bite their hand. The scallop bonnethead is another type of hammerhead shark. Its bonnet-shaped head has curved or scallop-shaped lines on it. Now for some trivia about a certain type of shark. A shark named a wobbegong shark. Question, where did the wobbegong shark get its name? We will have the answer to that question and more facts about wobbegong sharks for you later in the video. Have you ever been close to a shark? How close? Leave us a comment down below, we'd love to hear about it. Now back to the video. The lemon shark gets its name from its yellowish color, especially on the underside. Lemon sharks are fish-eating sharks related to tiger and bull sharks. Lemon sharks grow up to 3 meters long. People sometimes confuse lemon sharks with bull sharks, as they have a similar shape. Apart from the color, you can tell a lemon shark because its two dorsal fins are almost the same size. In most sharks, the first dorsal fin is much bigger. Lemon sharks survive very well in captivity and might be seen in an aquarium or sea life center. Since lemon sharks can be kept in tanks, scientists often use them to do shark experiments. When lemon sharks are young, they eat small fish, sea worms and shrimps. As they get older, they feed on seabirds, rays and lobsters. Lemon sharks have been found with stings from stingrays embedded in their mouths. There are over 30 different species of hound sharks. Hound sharks are a family of smallish sharks around 1.5 meters long. Most types of hound sharks live on shallow seabeds, feeding on shellfish, crabs and lobsters. Instead of sharp biting teeth, most hound sharks have flat teeth used for crushing their prey. Hound sharks are not the same as dogfish or dog sharks. They belong to a different shark order, or group. Whiskery sharks are a type of hound shark with barbels, finger-like organs on their snouts that look like whiskers. They help the shark feel its way along the seabed. The taupe shark is a hound shark with a long, pointy snout. It's also called the vitamin shark because it used to be hunted for its liver oil that was used as a health food. Soupfin sharks are hound sharks too. They get their name because their fins are used to make shark's fin soup, though other sharks are used for this too. Gummy sharks are another type of hound shark, named because they seem to have have no teeth. Like other hound sharks, they simply have flat, grinding teeth instead of sharp ones. The leopard shark is an unmistakable species of hound shark. It gets its name from the beautiful, large, leopard-like spots on its back. You can spot a weasel shark because it looks as if it's had a bite taken out of its tail. This is actually a natural dent in the tail called the precaudal pit. Weasel sharks are a type of small shark just over one meter long. There are several different species of weasel sharks, including the hooktooth, the sicklefin weasel and the snagletooth. Cat sharks are a separate shark family from weasel sharks. There are over 40 catchic species. Cat sharks are less than 1 meter in length and eat small fish and crabs. Cat sharks get their name because their eyes look like a cat's. The lollipop catchic is an unusual catchic with a very large head. Many cat sharks have beautiful markings. The draftboard shark, for example, is a catchic with dark and light checkerboard markings, while the chain shark has skin patterns that look like silver chains. Shy eye sharks and swell sharks are both types of cat sharks. The false catchic is not a catchic at all. At 3 meters long, it's much bigger than a real catchic, and was given its name by mistake. Some of the most common sharks in the sea are dogfish sharks. They include the picked and the spiny dogfish. Dogfish sharks are a huge family containing around 80 shark species. Dogfish sharks usually have spines in front of their dorsal fins and they have no anal fin at all. Dogfish sharks range in size from under 20 cm long the spined pygmy shark to over 6 m long the Greenland shark. Millions of dogfish sharks are caught every year, for their meat, and also for their fins, oil and skin. Spiny dogfish sharks are ground up to be made into garden fertilizer. 
Spiny dogfish often cause problems for fishermen. They tear up fishing nets and eat the fish and steal lobsters from lobster pots. Many species of dogfish sharks swim together in groups. Dogfish sharks may have got their name because they form packs, like dogs. In the past, any common type of plant or animal used to be given the name dog, like the dog rose, for example. The biggest type of dogfish shark is the Greenland shark. It grows up to 6.5 meters long. Greenland sharks like cold water. They live in the North Atlantic, around Greenland, Iceland and Canada, and can stand temperatures as low as 2 degrees Celsius. The Greenland shark is also called the gurry shark and the sleeper shark. The Greenland is known as the sleeper shark because it is sluggish and swims very slowly. Greenland sharks have glow-in-the-dark eyes because of luminescent copepods, tiny sea creatures, that live on their eyes. This may help the shark by luring prey towards it. Greenland sharks eat fish, squid, seals and sea lions, as well as scavenging on the dead bodies of whales. Greenlands are found in water as deep as 1,500 meters, but in summer they swim up to the surface to find food. Inuit people traditionally caught Greenland sharks on lines through holes in the ice. They use the skin to make boots and the teeth for knife blades. Fresh Greenland shark meat is poisonous, but it can be eaten safely if it is boiled several times. The smallest sharks in the world are dwarf and pygmy sharks. The spined pygmy shark and the dwarf dog shark, or dwarf lantern shark, are both around 18 to 20 centimeters long. The pygmy shark or slime shark is larger, but it's still tiny, around 25 centimeters. Sharks this small are completely harmless to humans. The spined pygmy shark lives as deep as 2,000 meters down during the day, but at night it swims up to hunt in shallower water about 200 meters deep. The dwarf dog shark is also found at great depths, as deep as 1,000 meters. Dwarf and pygmy sharks all have luminous undersides. Although dwarf and pygmy sharks are small, they hunt just like many larger sharks, snapping up fish, shrimps and octopuses. The spined pygmy shark was first discovered in 1908, when it was caught off the coast of Japan. We now know it lives all around the world. It is also called the cigar shark, because of its small size, slim shape and dark color. Dwarf and pygmy sharks are hard to keep in captivity, because they prefer very deep water. Cookie cutter sharks are strange, deep water sharks that are found around the world. There are two species, the cookie cutter and the large tooth cookie cutter. The large tooth cookie cutter is the smaller of the two, but it has bigger teeth. Its teeth are bigger in relation to its body size than those of any other shark. Cookie cutters belong to the dogfish shark family. Cookie cutter sharks are brown in color, with greenish eyes. Instead of eating whole animals, cookie cutters take bites out of much bigger sea creatures such as big sharks and whales. To feed, a cookie cutter shark attaches itself to its prey by sucking with its mouth. Then it swivels its sharp teeth around in a circle until it has cut out a lump of flesh. Cookie cutter sharks themselves are not big, only around 50 centimeters long. Because they don't need to catch or kill their prey, they can feed on animals that are many times larger than they are. Many sharks, dolphins, porpoises and whales have permanent, round scars left by cookie cutters. Almost all sharks have rough skin, but the skin of prickly and bramble sharks is really rough. The bramble shark is a deepwater shark that has large, thorn-like spikes scattered unevenly all over its body. A bramble shark's spikes are made of extra-large, extra-sharp denticles, sea shark skin. Bramble sharks grow to about 3 meters long. Although they are large, bramble sharks are rarely seen. This is because they live in deep water and are quite shy. The prickly shark is a relative of the bramble shark. It looks similar, but has smaller prickles. Prickly sharks grow to around 4 meters long. Prickly dogfish belong to a separate family. They have deep bodies, and very rough skin rather than long prickles. Though their skin is tough and prickly, prickly dogfish have strangely soft, spongy lips. The carpet sharks are a varied group of more than 30 different species of sharks. Many carpet sharks are less than one meter long, but this group also includes the whale shark, the biggest shark of all. Carpet sharks live in warm tropical seas, like those around Australia, Indonesia, and Arabia, and usually live in shallow waters around coral reefs and sandbars. Carpet sharks like to lie still on the seabed. Many of them have a slightly flattened body shape that helps them to camouflage themselves on the sandy or rocky ocean floor. Most carpet sharks feed on seabed-dwelling prey such as crabs, shellfish, octopuses and sea worms. Many carpet sharks have beautiful mottled, spotted or speckled camouflage markings. They were given their name because these markings often resemble patterned carpets or tapestries. 
Collared carpet sharks can change color to match their surroundings, like some other animals such as chameleons and octopuses. Epaulette sharks are a type of carpet shark. They get their name because they have dark patches on their shoulders, like epaulettes, cloth flaps, on a jacket. The barbel throat carpet shark has barbels, fleshy finger shapes used for feeling things, on its throat. Only one barbel throat carpet shark has ever been found. The name, Wobbegong, was given to these sharks by the Australian Aborigine people. Wobbegongs are often found in shallow, sandy water around the coast of Australia. Wobbegongs can be quite large, some, like the tasseled wobbegong, growing up to 4 meters long. Wobbegong have wide, flattened bodies to help them hide on the seabed. A typical wobbegong has lots of barbels around its mouth. The frilled wobbegong's barbels are branched and frilly. The tasseled wobbegong has tassel-like barbels right around its face like a beard. Wobbegong sharks, also known as wobbies, feed on smaller fish and on other sea creatures such as crabs, octopuses and squid. Wobbegongs have very strong jaws, and can easily bite off a person's hand or foot. That's it for today's video. We hope you enjoyed the video and will come back to see more in the future. We'll be back tomorrow with another video.